Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And uh, this is the Raw, the night after WrestleMania. Uh, and I gotta say, this was an awesome show. Uh, it was really good. Uh, flowed, re flowed good. Uh, it was fast-paced, my opinion. Uh, the whole three hours went by. So, but it was an awesome show. Of course, every Raw uh the night after wrestlemania is really cool uh it's the crowd is hot you know everybody you know in the crowd is like chanting loudly and you know and saying stuff so uh it was just an awesome show you know like every other you know raw after wrestlemania show every year uh, that's why they call it wrestlemania monday so but like i said it was an awesome show uh, but the show opened with the crowd, uh, long uh, crowd chant of uh, the crowd chanting Undertaker, you know, they were chanting, you know, Undertaker, and uh, then they were chanting Roman sucks, like uh, half a, half of uh, another section, you know, they were just chanting Undertaker, Roman sucks, you know, it was that long of a chant, and then it eventually led to Roman Reigns coming out. And just he got booed really uh, loud by the crowd, and it was. And then this this segment just got really hilarious because the crowd was not letting Roman talk. Uh, they were just saying, you know, asshole, asshole, fuck you, Rome. They were like, fuck you, Roman. I, I was just hysterical laughing because the crowd wouldn't even let uh, him talk. And he, when he tried to talk. They were just booing him. It, it, this was on the verge of when uh, Vicky Guerrero was getting uh, so much heat. The crowd just started booing really loudly at her. So that, that's how R Roman got it tonight. It, it was just really hilarious. And then he just said, you know, when he talked, he was just like, this is my yard now. And then that was it. And then he just uh, left the ring. The crowd booed the hell out of him after he said that. You know, very loud boos so uh, but it was hilarious though <laughs> really really loved it uh, but yeah and then after that it was the first match it was the Hardy Boys you know man Jeff Hardy versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson for the Raw Tag Team titles and this was a good match uh, flowed uh, really perfectly uh, the crowd was behind uh, the Hardy Boys with them the crowd was going delete 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 you know their uh what you know the gimmick that they had when they were in tna and that's what they were doing last night too also at wrestlemania the crowd but uh the hardy boys got the win uh you had uh matt pinning uh luke gallows to retain the uh raw tag team titles for uh both him and jeff to retain the titles so, but overall, it was a good match, and I uh, really enjoyed the match. And then, after that, uh, Neville comes out, uh, goes to commercial. When uh, Raw comes back from commercial, uh, Neville's in the ring. He's on the mic. He, he says he did everything he was going to do to Austin Aries, you know, last night at WrestleMania. And he says that, you know, that... He calls Austin Aries, uh, you know, he's nothing but a talker. And Neville says that he's going to prove to everyone in the crowd, you know, what he does. And then it leads to a match. Uh, it's Neville versus Mustafa Ali. Uh, this was a good match. Uh, that I really uh, enjoyed it. You know, Neville and Mustafa uh, gave it all they got in the ring. Uh, it was just uh, really cool. You had... Uh, Mustafa, you know, hit Neville with a with a springboard off the uh, off the uh, top rope, off the uh, yeah, off the top rope, and it was uh, really cool. But uh, Neville was gonna go for the red arrow, but he was like, "Fuck it," and then he just uh, put the rings of Saturn on uh, Mustafa Ali to score the win. So, but it was a good match. Uh, really liked it. Then after that, we saw a limo uh, backstage, and 
uh, lo and behold, surprisingly, uh, Vince McMahon comes out of the limo, you know, starts to make his way to uh, the ring. When Raw comes uh, back from the commercial, uh, Vince comes out, uh, talks about WrestleMania and, you know, the non-sanctioned match between uh, Seth and Triple H. Uh, you know, he tells the crowd that, you know, that they're cruel. And he announces that there will be a superstar shakeup next week. So this could be, you know, the draft. This could be another draft. So, and then he announces a new GM for Raw. And, uh, you know, Tay Long comes out. We think the crowd thinks, and we all think that he's going to be the general manager of Raw. But Vince says, you know, it's not him. And he just gives the crowd a holla, holla, holla. You know, Teddy Long. And then Vince introduces, of course, uh, officially uh, the new general manager of Raw. And that is Kurt Angle. And we all knew that. It was kind of predictable uh, because there was reports saying that Kurt Angle might, you know, be the new GM or was going to be the was going to be the new GM. And the reports were actually right. And so, you know, Kurt Angle comes out. You know, the crowd is cheering loudly for him. You know, they start saying, you suck. Uh, you know, Kurt Angle says that it's great to be back on Raw, uh, which is really cool. So, it was a pretty good segment. It was an awesome segment. Uh, you know, I'm glad Kurt Angle is the new GM of Raw. Uh, he's going to do good as the new GM. I have to say, probably he might, he might be better than Mick Foley. So, that's... You know, it's really cool. So. And then after that, New Day ends up coming out. Uh, talking about, you know, WrestleMania last night. Xavier uh, says that they are opening a, a challenge to anyone in the locker room. Uh, to challenge them and have a match with them. And what was funny is uh, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston were wearing uh, these uh, this gear with the ice cream cones sticking up kind of reminded me of the, the uh, you know, the suits kind of reminded me of uh, a little bit of uh, how the uh, Legion of Doom uh, wore their, you know, their gear. So, and then, uh, lo and behold, the Revival uh, from NXT, they come up to the main roster. It was really, uh, really marked out at that. Uh, they come up. Uh, to Raw, and you know now they're on the main roster. They have a match uh, with the New Day, and it was an awesome match. Uh, it was just really cool. The revival, uh, just basically taking out New Day. So, yep, and then uh, the revival got the win, which is awesome. And then after the match, they take out uh, Kofi Kingston's leg. But uh, overall, it was an awesome match. Glad to see the revival on Raw. Uh, they they're gonna uh, do good. I think they're gonna do good on Raw. You know, especially you know the matches that they had down in NXT. Uh, they were they were really awesome down there too. Uh, one of my favorite uh, tag teams from NXT. So it was an awesome match, revival and New Day. Uh, but. Uh, kind of called, kind of called it uh, because uh, you know they lost the match at Takeover on Saturday, so it was definitely uh, you know predictable knowing that they were going to be uh, brought up to the main roster because they lost the match. So, and then we after that match we had Kurt Angle in the office, Enzo and Big Cass come in, you know saying that you know they want to. You know, introducing themselves to uh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle ends up making a match uh, for tonight uh, for Enzo and Big Cass versus Cesaro and Sheamus. And the winner will be the number one contender for the Raw, team, the Raw Tag Team titles to challenge the Hardy Boys. So, and then what was funny is uh, at the end of the segment, Kurt Angle goes, uh, that's not how you spell soft. And that was, that was really funny. So... <laughs> But it was an awesome uh, segment with uh, Angle and Enzo and Big Cass. 
And then after that, it was uh, Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Dana Brooke versus Emma. Yes, Emma, Nia Jax, and Charlotte. But, you know, this was a decent match, though. Uh, you know, just Bailey and Sasha and Dana taking out, you know, Emma, Nia, and Charlotte. And we saw, you know, Emma being back after that failed uh, em emulation or whatever it was called, uh, which was a shitty promo, which was a shitty segment that they had when she was uh, brought back under that gimmick, which only lasted for that night. So, but <laughs> you all know, you all know my feelings about Emma. Uh, I think she's terrible in the ring in my opinion she's hard she's horrible so but but in the end uh bailey sasha banks and dana brooke got the win uh sasha hit the bank statement on charlotte uh making charlotte tap out and then after the match charlotte you know just is pissed she pushes emma and naya and naya starts just taking out uh charlotte so we might end up getting a uh, a few between uh, Charlotte and Naya, uh, you know, it's coming soon, uh, so, but overall, it was a decent match, then after that, Kurt Angle is with Sami Zayn, uh, Sami, you know, wants to have the same relationship that he had with Mick Foley when Foley was general manager, you know, you know, he wants to have the same relationship with Kurt, uh, Kurt says that, you know, that he has, that Sammy has, you know, the three eyes that Kurt has. You know, you all know the three eyes. And then uh, Jenna Mahal ends up coming in, saying he wants justice after he lost, after he got eliminated from the Andre Giant Battle Royal last night. Uh, Kurt actually, Kurt makes a match between uh, Sammy and Jinder Mahal tonight. You know, that was happening later on tonight. So. But yeah, we all know how that's going to go, but I'll get to that. Uh, what was really uh, cool was uh, watching the uh, watching Raw for the three hours. I actually saw, uh, if you all know him on YouTube, he's big on YouTube. Uh, I saw uh, Michael Green, you know, Angry Grandpa's son, kid behind the camera, sitting in the front row. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's uh, Michael, uh, kid behind the camera. It was cool seeing him on uh seeing him on TV. I actually met him during a SummerSlam weekend last year. Uh, it was awesome, uh, me and him. Uh, I met his, uh, I met him, I met his sister, and I also met uh, Grimm's Toy Show down there, which uh, was awesome. I have a video of that, you know, just look back at my videos uh, for that. So yeah, so uh, just wanted to mention that. Then after that, uh, we had uh, Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman coming out. Uh, Paul Heyman uh, gets on the mic, says that you know he, you know he's got a bedtime story. Uh, talks about Goldberg, you know Goldberg saying that Goldberg is like a superhero, and Heyman ends up saying that you know we will never see Goldberg again. And when they mentioned Goldberg, the crowd was just booing. They were mostly cheer. They were cheering for Brock. Uh, the crowd was like, "Thank you, Brock," and you know the crowd was uh was hot uh tonight i forgot to mention in the uh neville um mustafa ali match uh the crowd was looking uh back and they and michael cole was like michael cole was saying that there was there was a beach ball uh being thrown around the arena and it, people were hitting it there you could tell uh they were having a lot of fun so that, that was uh pretty funny though of uh, the crowd just cheering and you know they were saying you know uh we want beach balls <laughs> so that was funny uh but Heyman uh says that brock is looking for new challengers you know Heyman was like oh it could be seth it could be one of the hardys or it could be roman reigns you know you never know Heyman uh says that he and brock wants to give the crowd uh, that was in attendance. Uh, that was in attendance tonight at the uh, the Amway Center in Orlando, uh, which SmackDown will be there uh, tomorrow also at the same arena. Uh, he, 
Heyman said he want he and Brock wanted to give the crowd something that they will never forget. But then uh, Braun Strowman ends up coming out, gets in the ring with Lesnar. The both of them uh, have a little stare down. Braun ends up getting on the mic, saying that you know when he's finished with Roman Reigns, uh, he he'll have Lesnar, and that you know he says to uh, he says to Lesnar that. You know he has uh, he has Strowman's attention, or uh, you know he'll have Lesnar in that. Uh, you know Strowman has you know Lesnar has Strowman's attention. So, and then uh, Lesnar just drops the title and he wants Braun to do something, uh, you know, just to fight him. But Braun just ends up leaving the ring, wanting nothing to do with uh, with Lesnar. So. I mean, it was a pretty, it was a pretty good segment, uh, pretty awesome segment. And then after that, uh, Chris Jericho was being interviewed. You know, he says how the crowd is hot tonight. You know, and he wants the crowd to cheer uh, him on, and the crowd was just cheering him on. And you know, he says this, Jericho is saying that it's the perfect time to get his revenge on Owens. You know, for being uh, for Owens being him last night for the U.S. title. Uh, he was gonna put. Owens on the list again, but from out of nowhere, Owens just starts beating the hell out of Jericho, and then out of nowhere, Samoa Joe ends up coming and uh, being up on Jericho. Uh, Owens actually uh, put Jericho through a table, and so Jericho uh, couldn't compete uh, tonight uh, after that because it was originally going to be uh, Jericho and Rollins team up to take on uh, Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens. But uh, since uh, Jericho was put through a table, uh, Rollins uh, didn't have an opponent, which I'll get to that uh, in a few. Uh, Kurt Angle and Seth Rollins are backstage, and you know he's like Seth was like, you know, saying, "Oh, what am I going to do? I have no, uh, I have no partner now since you know Jericho was put through a table." And Kurt says that he will find Seth a partner. So, it was a short little uh, backstage segment. And then, it was the number one contenders match for the Raw Tag Team titles. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Enzo and Big Cass. Uh, this was a good match. Uh, flowed really well. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus, uh, Enzo and Big Cass gave it all they got. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus was, uh, you know, dominated and... Uh, the crowd was behind Cesaro, you know, they were like, do, 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 you know, like they were just chanting, do, 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 like something like that. And uh, Cesaro and Sheamus got the win. Uh, Cesaro hit the hit the uh, elbow on Enzo to score the win. And so now Cesaro and Sheamus are the number one contenders to face uh, the Hardys for the Raw Tech Team titles. So that might that might happen at Payback. Uh, which is the next pay-per-view on uh, the 30th of this month. So that's probably going to happen. So, but it was a good match. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus, Enzo and Big Cass. Then after that, it was Sami Zayn versus Jinder Mahal. We all know how this match uh, was, but, you know, before the match, Jinder Mahal just, you know, just started taking out Sami, uh, and then they got in the ring. Uh, the bell rings. Jenna just starts beating the hell out of Sammy. And, you know, just Sammy just comes back and, you know, just starts dominating the match through, you know, just start punching uh, Jenna Mahal. And then Sammy Zayn got the win with the Huluva kick to Jenna Mahal to score the win. We all know that. So, you know, we all know. So we all know that. We all know Jenna Mahal is a jobber. So I don't know why, I don't know why they bought uh, Jinder back into the company just for him to uh, job to certain superstars. So, but uh, yeah, it was it was a decent match, uh, not great or perfect though. Then after that was the main event. Uh, it was Seth Rollins uh, with a mystery partner versus Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens, and the mystery partner. Uh, Kind of noticed because it was kind of predictable. We all know that he was returning, 
Rollins' uh, mystery partner was Finn Balor. And, you know, it was awesome seeing him again after, you know, he was injured. Uh, after he was injured by, uh, by Seth Rollins. So, but it was awesome seeing Balor again. Uh, really, uh, really awesome. Uh, it was a good match, too. It was a good main event. Uh, but uh, uh, Finn Balor got the win with the coup de gras on uh, Kevin Owens uh, to score the win for him and Seth Rollins. Uh, and it was just a good match. It was an awesome main event. Uh, it's a good main event to end uh, an awesome Raw. So, but uh, let's see if SmackDown could be as good tomorrow night. Uh, I know it's probably going to be a good show. So, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, that was from the Amway Center in Orlando. And like I said... Uh, SmackDown is going to be in the same arena tomorrow night. So, so yeah. So until tomorrow night's video, my review of uh, SmackDown. So until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.